Today we're going to be going over how to install an EPS kit on a High Sun 750. All right, now in front of us we have all of the components of the EPS kit, so we just wanted to briefly touch on those. Um, you'll have your new steering shaft, your EPS controller, your EPS motor, your mounting brackets, steering coupler, and all of your hardware as well. All right, so we're gonna start by removing the roll cage. After we have our roll cage removed, we're gonna remove the plastic hood. All right, so we'll start by removing some of our screws. You'll notice these two along the fender well, and then all the way going around the glove box, and then the instrument cluster, and then around down the other side. So after we have our hood removed, we're gonna start by removing the steering wheel as well. Once we peel back the ignition cover, we're gonna also remove the ignition switch as well. All right, so right here inside of the column, you'll see a snap ring around the, sh the steering shaft. We're gonna go ahead and remove that snap ring as well. All right, on the driver's side, of the column here, you'll see this little brass pin with a retaining clip behind it. We're gonna remove that clip and the uh, steering wheel tilt lever as well. All right, next, underneath the steering shaft, the steering column, we're gonna remove the uh, tilt shock as well. All right, next, we will remove our speed limiter so that we can access the three bolts behind the steering column. All right, then down here at this coupling, we'll remove this 10 millimeter bolt. Uh, from this yoke. Call it through the firewall and then pull up, remove the column and the steering. All right, and then we'll remove the steering shaft from the column. All right, now down here, right above the rack on this mounting bracket, you'll notice four bolts. We're going to remove three of them. We're going to remove one from the driver's side on the top and then two on the passenger side here. All right, so now we're going to install our steering coupler right here on the spline shaft on the rack. Now the three 13 millimeter bolts that we removed, you'll notice on this mounting bracket has those, those same three mounting points. This bracket will just rest right on top of the old bracket. All right, now what we're doing here is we're just loosely installing these mounting brackets. Uh, don't tighten them down just yet on the back of the EPS motor. All right, now that we got those loosely installed, you can see the orientation of those brackets as they mount to the EPS motor. All right, now we are gonna install the EPS motor onto the bracket. Also wanted to note that the two bolts going up fastening the bracket to the motor are going to be your long 10 millimeter bolts and these two brackets coming in from the side here fixing the brackets together are going to be your short 10 millimeter bolts all right now at this time we're going to install the two eight millimeter bolts into the steering shaft coupler Right, so now we're gonna install our new shaft into our existing steering column. slide the steering column or the steering shaft into the EPS motor. All 
All right, now you'll notice on the spline shaft coming out of the EPS motor will be this little groove. We want to make sure that when we install our 10 millimeter, our 10 millimeter uh, bolt for the coupler, or for the steering shaft rather, that it follows that groove. So you'll notice we'll slide the shaft down and then in goes the 10 millimeter bolt. steering shaft coupled with the EPS motor and we'll also go ahead and bolt back on the steering column. All right now after we bolt back on the steering column we'll re reaffix our speed limiter and plug that back in as well. We'll then move to reinstall the ignition switch on the column. We'll then reinstall our tilt shock So reinstall our circlip on the side of the pin that retains the tilt shock. We'll then reinstall the plastics on the column. Make sure that's good before you put the rest of it on there. Reinstall the steering wheel itself. plug in our EPS controller. Yep. And now we'll mount our EPS controller to the frame. All right, we also wanted to go over how to calibrate the EPS system whenever you install it on, on one of the units. Um, so we have this calibration tool and you'll also see at the end, it has a gray connector. We'll also show you where to plug this unit in as well. All right, now you'll see this blue wire loom coming out of the side of the EPS motor. That's where we will plug in our calibration tool. If any adjustments are needed to be made, you'll loosen these two screws here. Then as we turn the steering wheel, you'll notice your values change. Alright, so when referencing the numbers on this screen, you're going to want to see about 1.55 or so volts when you turn the wheel to each side and hold it against its stops. This 1.59, that is very, very close, and so that is, that's considered um, uh, within adjustment. And then you'll notice when we turn the wheels straight, steering wheel is centered, your voltage will actually jump up a little bit higher and that's where we want to see it. When you go against each of the stops to the right and to the left, you're going to want to be between about 1.55, right around 1.55, um, no more than about 1.7 volts. But again, your voltage will be highest when the uh, steering wheel is centered and the wheels are turned straight. All right, and then last step after the calibration is complete, we will then reinstall the plastic hood and then we will also uh, reattach, uh, reinstall the cab frame as well.